Unfortunately, the band was the real victim here. Greetings, and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Goddess, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Don't forget, every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Central Time, the Talk To Me America show where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. Also, a like, a subscribe, a share, a comment, and a donation would be the ultimate to support the channel. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? In this week's video, we go over something that's actually come across my feed quite often. And, of course, the premise of the entire video doesn't really bother me that much. I'm used to this. We're used to this. We're not paying that much attention to this mess anymore. What really bothered me was the disrespect for the others that were actually working in this aspect of it, and I'll explain to you why. First of all, I'll bring you to some restaurant somewhere, I don't even, I think it's Georgia, where after the incident has already happened, the man on the camera decides to turn the camera back on, or turn the camera on after all the altercation, and start prompting this person yet again to engage with him over this, while trying to prove somehow or another that by asking him to do a, a solid to the entire restaurant, not to mention the band, he tried to prove that this man was some kind of a racist because it was a white guy asking a black guy to turn his phone down in the middle of everyone's dinner. And like I say, this is something that's gone on for quite a while now. I'm used to this part. The part that I had a problem with was, well, let's watch the video. Racism Sir. is still real in Georgia. I can't what believe Bob tried me like that. My what was it you what was it that you was asking me before you interrupted me with my dinner? Because I turned it all the way down for you. Okay, but what was it that you was asking me? Is there a reason why you were asking me to turn my phone down when there's a band playing music that I don't give a fuck about here? What? When there's a band playing music that I don't give a fuck about here. What did he just say? When there's a band playing music that I don't give a fuck about here. Well, let me just tell you. Not only were you in the wrong for this absolute asinine video after the fact, trying to teach someone a lesson, evidently, but I have absolutely no respect for someone that has no respect for people on stage playing their hearts out uh, to entertain people. They've been hired by that establishment, obviously, to do a job for you and for everyone else in the place. Um, it seems to me like you think that the world revolves around you, because not only did you disturb all of the patrons that were around you, but you brought your own entertainment to a place that you knew was going to have entertainment itself. You might as well have brought your own food. How disrespectful. As somebody that's in the music business, and that probably would have been on the stage at that point, probably wouldn't have said anything to you, but you know they're looking at you through glazed eyes, because do you know how hard it is to concentrate on what you're doing, and not make a mistake, and not do, not go out of character when you got somebody else doing something that's extremely distracting? How many of you can listen to two things at one time and not go nuts? Plus, you were probably bothering all the other patrons that actually went in there to see that live band that you don't give a fuck about. So, you're gonna tell me that you're not giving a fuck about the band while everybody else in there is listening to it and probably went there to listen to the band is more important than everyone else. And you know, I would venture to say that you actually were bothering everybody, including the band. But this guy, this guy right here, He's the only one that had the balls to say anything to you. And I don't think it had anything to do with your skin color. You were disturbing everyone. And shame on you for doing that to a band. 
I know it was a bit of a rant, but I am in that business and it bothers the piss out of me when somebody else brings their own entertainment knowing that there'll be a live band in there that other people will be listening to. I've had it done on more than one occasion and some of these places where I play at will literally leave all the TVs on or they'll hire me and then make me set up and then make me wait until a ball game is over. And of course, if it goes at, over the time that we were supposed to play, then all of a sudden they don't want to pay us. These people don't realize what these live entertainers actually go through. Because we're, we're not big like these people. We don't have the, the agents and we don't have all the roadies. We have to set up all of our own stuff. We have to do all of our own behind the scenes stuff. I barely can afford an accountant. Not to mention the years of practice and, and everything else to perfect not only the sound that comes out, but playing the instrument itself and being able to tune it well with the equipment. But you're gonna have some asshole come into a restaurant knowing that there's a band in there and start playing his own shit. Shame on you. Shame on you. I don't give a damn what color you are. Nobody gave a damn what color you were. Being in a band, especially in a small situation like that, is an extremely hard thing to do. You don't have anybody backing you. You gotta do everything yourself. Take it from somebody that's in the business. And I really don't appreciate it when someone knows that there's going to be a band there and brings their own entertainment. If you're going to do that shit, stay home. Order DoorDash or something like that. Don't come out there and antagonize the entire restaurant and disrespect the band that way. I guarantee you, you wouldn't want or appreciate anyone doing that to you. And maybe next time, catch the actual event on tape you might have a little bit of credibility at that point. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. I do appreciate everyone being here today. And don't forget, every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Central Time, the Talk To Me America show where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. Also, a like, a subscribe, a comment, a share, and a donation would be the ultimate to support the channel. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will you? I wish you love, peace, health, and music, always. And until next time, AMF.